Okay, we got Wholesome Shadow in the black playing the twins versus Golden Twins from Skyro. So we're gonna get to see the twins mirror match and twins very famously were very good on this map for a long time. More Groove 1, twins were kind of not necessarily dominating the meta, but they were extremely frustrating and difficult to fight against. And you had to play like a very specific way to counter them. And I can't even remember if people like figured out a way to guarantee defend against the twins every time. I think most people just banned them when it came to open season. Of course, with the new changes to twins, a little bit less ridiculous on this map. Um, of course, you can still throw fire down on your opponent's stronghold and use that to bully and kill it, but it's not quite as like simple and one-sided as it used to be. And we're seeing this very aggressive sword come out again. I think that might actually be like an FTA thing where the sword can actually go for that. And interestingly, Wholesome Shadow didn't go for the heal earlier with their commander. They went for the capture first, which is going to make it more difficult for them to capture. This village and Skyro in chat right now actually saying that like the more important thing is you can actually destroy the fire crystal like an actual object. And yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And rifles in particular are good against the crystal too, so. Uh, you can like kind of line up a crit fairly easily on it. And ooh, Wholesome Shadow going for an interesting maneuver with this balloon. Gonna open up some mobility options. And okay, this village is gonna go down. And this sword backs up. Sometimes we see players kind of hide in the corner, but and just kind of be annoying for the long term. You can like knock this village down with it at some point if you really want to, but. Skyro just gonna back up. Recognizes that they can do more with this sword later and just keep it alive. And they're going to be annoying on this front as well. Going to push up with the twins. <laughs> it's a weak sword crit. Not this fills down and ooh, has groove. As opposed to their opponent. He's on 79%, so they're not out of it yet, but. Yeah, ooh, this rifle was kind of in like a mid position, which. You know, you can do stuff with it, but unfortunately it meant they couldn't defend their stronghold, so that push was like largely uncontested on this left hand side. I do think the harpy can reach around. Oh, but it doesn't go for it. Could have picked off this sword actually. Um decides against it, however. Now Skyro is just gonna go. Continue to do some damage, gets the shot with the rifle, recognizes that they do have to defend their own stronghold, and actually pulls the twins back. I think they realize like overextending here is a bad idea. Sure they're doing well on that front, but let's just uh, move back for the moment and make sure they can defend correctly. And yeah, makes sense. There's no real knight pressure on this right hand side. None at all actually, there's only one knight on the side of Wholesome Shadow right now. And ideally you want like knights on this side to pressure Stronghold, but uh, not gonna be the case in this regard. Like, especially with twins. Like if you're gonna try and like put pressure and clear and threaten your opponent's Stronghold, you ideally want to make sure that you can actually, you know, threaten to kill it as opposed to just put some light pressure on with swords and commander. Wholesome Shadow, gonna move this knight up on the left hand side. Threatens this village from below with the night crit. I wonder if Skyro is going to block that with anything. And Skyro, having kind of regrouped their army, gets cooling flame. Okay, big damage, big healing. So actually, yeah, just kills the knight, injures this air trooper, and we're going to see a whole bunch more uh, over the next couple of turns with like healing. And yeah, you can't just you just can't push into that now. It's far too difficult. Like if you if you don't kill stuff, you're only doing damage. Okay, but Awesome Shadow is gonna find a couple options, find a little gaps in their opponent's armor to pick up some kills, and they're gonna throw their own cooling flame onto their own army, and we're just gonna not see anything because the UI is gonna be clustered with fire and water effects. 
And they're even there's some overlap as well, I believe. So both players are gonna take some damage and some healing. It's actually I think this tile on the dog it will take some fire damage next turn. And this sword will get some healing next turn as well, but it's just very difficult to see. And I'm really curious if twins are going to be able to get enough groove to throw down water. If you throw down water on your own cooling flame, like next to it, they can heal each other. It's the only cross heal that you can get. Cooling flames can't heal other cooling flames, and tier 1s can't heal other tier 1s, but the tier 1 and the tier 2 can heal each other. And essentially, they only take like a very, very small amount of damage every turn because of that. So you can keep them up almost indefinitely. And then you can throw down more cooling flames later and just stack fire across the entire map. We're even going to see Wholesome Shadow heal their own groove there manually with the mage. Now, Skyro's ahead. They do have a lead right now. They're ahead on groove. They're ahead on economy. Oh, and because of the terrain being hidden by this fire, there's so many unit suicides that can come in. Can dogs suicide from river at this percent? Oh no, but they can crit for a lot of damage. Uh, oh yeah, and they just win. Okay, well... <laughs> there's a thing on open season about these particular tiles where there's a river tile in the center and there's a bunch of bridges around it. And, of course, standing next to the river tile means your opponent can just suicide almost endless units into you. Uh, like, you can throw, like, two swords. I think you can actually throw three swords into an opponent's commander or, like, a sword and a dog. Or I can, can you do two dogs in a row? I think you can do two dogs in a row. So, you can do a lot of damage to your opponent's commander. It's a really dangerous tile to stand on. But because there's so much just, like, visual clutter on the map you can kind of just forget what the tiles are in the, in the middle and that happens and you know it happens to the best of us and it happens even without this like so many people have died because they put their commander next to that river tile in the middle so i think skyro has been around long enough to know that like, it's like that's a real thing and that's something you should look out for and Wholesome Shadow, learning the hard way, uh, as many of us have over the years of, like, you just can't put your commander on those tiles uh, unless you're very sure you can survive. So, well played by Skyro there. They were ahead in a bunch of ways. They were ahead on uh, Groove, they were ahead on Economy a little bit towards the end. They just had, like, some nice positioning with Army as well. And uh, they just spotted a lethal and went for it, so. Well played.